again, YouTube. So this video series of the ZTEC Sump is growing arms and legs. Uh, so th this was supposed to be the conclusion when I test everything, but realized I haven't made a sump plug, a drain plug, or put the baffles in. So here's another video. So in this video, you'll be surprised to learn we fit the sump plug and the baffles. In the attempt to make a oil drain off for our sump, I'm going to put these in the lathe and turn these down a little bit. I've locked two nuts against each other. These are 12 mil um, nuts. Locked them together against each other onto a stud. Tighten that down and then round this off there to about one millimeter or so. So then I can get that. So that I'll round that up to 18 mil or thereabouts. And then I can drill 18 mil hole in my sump and that'll drop into it then and just weld that as a bung in place. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good there. Put a file on that, tidy it up. That'll do us very nicely. There we go, lovely. So, knock that out of there now, and then drill an 18 mil hole in the sump and weld that into place. Okay, so you can see my step drill just there. I've taped off up to 18 mil where I want it, and then you can see that's been faced off nicely there now. And the idea, well, that's been faced off nicely, that's the side we want. And the idea now is to fit it in there, basically. So I ball that up around there somewhere. Underneath would be better, obviously for oil to empty out, but then it will stick out a bit. Because this here is where the bottom of the bell housing comes to. So I don't really want bits sticking out of the bottom of this. So. The back of there is ideal, and then to get all the oil out for a proper oil change, just chuck the car up so the front is up and it'll, it, most of it comes out. In reality, you never really get it all out anyway, but that'll do me just about there. So I'll uh, mark that up and drill that out now. Right, there we go. Simple as that. So now I have a drain hole and with a suitably cut down and dressed back bolt we have a drain plug which will a copper washer fits in there lovely. Look at that. Socket on that. Job's a good one. Now some may be wondering about the uh, dipstick arrangement. Now, on the Retro Ford ones you've got a dipstick hole here. But what I've found is, in reality, when this is filled with the right amount of oil, the level is just creeps up into here at rest. So your existing dipstick can be used. So the end of the dipstick has got, as long as there's a little bit of oil on the end of the dipstick, you know there's enough oil in there. And um, for a toy, that, that's good enough. You know, this is not an everyday car. You know, this is, this is going to be a toy. Okay, so we're almost there. The next thing I want to do, which isn't essential, is chuck in a couple of simple baffles. So this is one of our bits of offcut. I'm going to cut this down the centre and simply just, I'll, I'll put a bit of a curve on it and just put it one either side there and there. So it's down 
down inside there, so they'll sort of encircle the pickup, kind of. It, it doesn't have to be particularly pretty, you just got to stop the surge. As simple as that. Just a couple of pieces cut off, and I just grab the oil as, as it surges, I stop it all flopping out of the way. And honestly, I don't really think they're necessary for a road car. But you know, it's not going to hurt to put them in there, and there's a bit of scrap anyway. So, what I'll do is just tack them in and uh, pop your uncle. Yeah, just like that. Just tacked in place, nothing fantastic. So, as that sits down there like that, that'll be surrounded by oil when you're cornering, basically. You know, it's, it, it's not going to go that far. And that's it. The, the idea of a wing sump like this is. It'll keep it all in place anyway, and that, and the idea of this acting like a sort of like a windy chair, I guess, to, to stop it crawling up the sides of the uh, of the sump wall. There, we are finished building the sump and the pickup pipe, and the sump plug is fitted, baffles are in. So, the next video, I promise, will be of it being tested and a simple uh, test rig. I've, I've figured out a way of making a test rig which is simple enough, and so you'll see it tested. And if we blow bubbles on the test, then we'll be doing some more welding. So watch your space and see what happens.